For the beam loaded as shown by double integration method, determine the slope and deflection at points A, C, and D, E, A is constant. So here is the figure. First, let's solve for the reactions at B, reaction at B. So result reaction at B is zero, so only the vertical reactions shall be computed. So we have moment E zero, summation moment E zero. So BY times 12 minus 15 times 14 and minus 25 times 5, 2.5 plus 4 is 6.5. So 25 times 5 times 6.5. So BY is equal to 2045 over 24 kilonewtons. Then we now set up equation, moment equation for the entire span here in the X from A. A is our origin. This time A will deflect. Therefore C sub 1 and C sub 2 are present. Where C sub 1 is the slope at A and C sub 2 is the deflection at A. So call that X. So beginning with VY, clockwise positive, remember. So we extend the loading so that the moment equation will also be applicable in this section. So this, take note, is 25 kilonewton per meter and its distance from A is X minus 10. So EIY double prime equals 2045 over 24 x minus 2 this distance is x minus 2 and minus 15 times x then plus this upward loading 25 times quantity x minus 10 x minus 10 over 2 so that would be 12.5 x minus 10 square that's 12.5 x minus 10 square then minus the moment of this loading 25 times quantity x minus 5 this is x minus 5 uh, this is 5, so this distance is x minus 5 times moment arm x minus 5 over 2, so that would be minus 12.5 times x minus 5 square. So that's it. So integrating once, ei y prime is equal to 2045 over 48 x minus 2 square minus 7.5 x square. 12.5 over 3 is 25 over 6 plus 25 over 6 quantity x minus 10 cube. Then minus 25 over 6 quantity x minus 5 cube. Then plus C sub 1. So this is the equation for slope. Then integrate again EIY equals 2045 over 144 quantity x minus 2 cube. 7.5 over 3 is 2.5, so minus 2.5x cubed. 25 over 6 times 4 is 25 over 24x minus 10 quantity to the fourth. Then minus 25 over 24x minus 5 to the fourth plus c sub 1x plus c sub 2. So again, there are C sub 1 and C sub 2 because A will deflect. So we now enforce the boundary conditions. So when X is 2, Y is 0 here. So 0, this is 0, this is negative 2.5 cube, negative, so ignore, A negative inside the parenthesis, ignore. So plus C sub 1 times 2 plus C sub 2. So setting the first equation, 2C sub 1 plus C sub 2 equals uh, 20. Call that equation 1. Then x is 14 at E, y is 0. So 0 equals 2045 over 144 times 12 cube. 14 minus 2 is 12 minus 2.5 times 14 cube plus 25 over 24 times 4 to the 4 and minus 25 over 24, 14 minus 5 is 9, so 20, minus 25 over 24 times 9 to the 4th, plus C sub 1 times 14, plus C sub 2. So, setting up the second equation, 14 C sub 1 plus C sub 2 equals 
negative 266695 over 24 equation 2. You may, you may eliminate C sub 2, subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, and you can solve C sub 1. Solving these two equations simultaneously gives us C sub 1 equals negative 927.69 and C sub 2 equals 1875.38. So divided by EI, C sub 1 is theta A, negative 927.69 over EI. And C sub 2 divided by EI is the deflection at A. Delta A is 1875.38 over EI. Then, we set X is 5 to solve for the slope and deflection at C. So, into this equation, EI theta C is equal to 2045 over 48 times 3 square because 5 minus 2 is 3. Minus 7.5 times 5 square. This is ignored because the quantity inside the vertices is negative. This is 0 when x is 5. Then the next term is plus C sub 1 plus negative 927.69. So theta C is equal to 7, negative 735.75. Then x is 5 for the deflection, EI deflection at C is 2045 over 144 times 3 cube minus 2.5 times 5 cube. Ignore this term is 0. Then plus C sub 1 plus negative 927.69 times 5. Then plus C sub 2, 1875.38. So we can now compute delta C. Delta C is equal to negative 2692.13 over EI. Then for theta D and delta D, set X equals 10. 2 plus 3 plus 5 is 10. So EI theta D is 2045 over 48 times 8 squared. 10 minus 2 is 8 minus 7.5 times 10 squared. This is 0, and minus 25 over 6 times 5 cubed, 10 minus 5 is 5, and plus C sub 1 plus negative 927.69. Solving for theta d, theta d is 5 to 8.14 over EI. And finally, for delta d, into this equation, x is 10, so EI Delta D is 2045 over 144 times 8 cube minus 2.5 times 10 cube. This is 0, then minus 25 over 24 times 5 to the 4th. And plus negative 9 to 7.69 times 10. And plus C sub to 1875.38. So delta D can now be computed negative 3 to 81.45 over EI. So I hope that you were able to follow the solution.